Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I thought that, you know, the announcements would be normal, but Isabel is actually saying that KK Slider is here and that they're going to give direct feed from the concert venue. Like right now? I don't know, hope you all enjoy the show. <laughs> I guess just right now. I thought that maybe it would be like there would be some setup required or something. I don't know what's going on then. Yeah, he's here! <laughs> Hey Stripe, it's real groovy being here today. Everybody is just standing here. Uh, feels like this dream I once had when I was this scruffy pup with a shoebox and uh, with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wandering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Sorry about that. I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapped. It's just weird that it's like it's not a big crowd. It's like. 12 or 13 people and they're all just very silently staring at him unemotional <laughs> just i can't wait <laughs> right on this well, this one goes out to all you cool cats on stripe i call it welcome horizons ah wow this is so cool so we get our kk slider uh concert Oh wow, this is the credits. Huh, I wasn't expecting that. Wow, okay, so I guess this is sort of maybe a way to sort of, it's not the end of the game because this game never really truly ends. But wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this way. Interesting, so this is sort of the main part of the game done in the fact that we've sort of learned most things that you can learn. Um, now it's just sort of continually improving and perfecting our town. It took us 49 episodes. I was hoping we could, I thought that the concert would happen at nighttime or something. So I was hoping that I could get like one episode in before that. Um, because you know, that way I could end it on 50. By the way, 49 is pretty good. I can't believe it. We've finally made it here where KK Slider is at our town and performing. So I guess this is sort of, like I said, the ending, technically of sort of the evolution of the game where you build the town, you figure out how to play, you get all the different tools. We basically have all the tools to do what we need to do now. Now it's just sort of completing everything. I think there might be one more thing we learn to do in terms of like terraforming. But beyond that, from here on out, it's just about continually building up and perfecting our town and experiencing all there is to experience, you know, getting all the fish and the bugs and the fossils and the paintings for the museum, uh, getting our town a higher ranking and just really getting it well decorated, getting all the different fruit types, filling out all the Nook Mile quests. We're doing all of that very soon, and we're gonna just keep chipping away at it with each and every episode, experiencing all the different seasons and holiday events that are to come and whatever new updates might be on the way. And like I said, I wanna start scanning an amiibo card so that we can see some of that stuff too. It's weird, I feel like I'm starting the episode with the ending, but we'll still do more stuff today. <laughs> But yeah, I do want to start scanning an amiibo card so that we can get new villagers visiting as campers. That'll be cool. So there's there's still so much to do in this game. So stay tuned. Um, this concert's wonderful, by the way. He's quite quite the singer. Ah, so there we go. It's been quite the journey so far. I've had so much fun. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll catch you next time. Yay! <laughs> that was fantastic. All right, then. So we finally got our KK Slider concert. Hopefully first of many. It'd be cool if you could come by and, you know, perform other songs. I don't know if it works that way, though. Hey, there's Tom Nook. Hello, Zebra. Did you enjoy KK's concert? I did. It was wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I have this song, Welcome Horizons, for you. Oh, really? Awesome. So I'll definitely have that for our collection. To listen to it, you'll need an item that can play music, and I do hope you enjoy it. Ah, I have some big news, too. KK is apparently very fond of our island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Stripe was once a deserted island, but now we can host uh, important concerts. I'm so thankful to have to you and everyone else on the island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Stripe remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time to come. With your help, it will. Speaking of which, I've developed a new app that should help you make the island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. Oh, really? So what is this? I'm not really sure. Whoa. Island Designer. Interesting. The app I've just sent you is called Island Designer. 
It's a special app from Nook Incorporated that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first, you'll only have permission to create paths, but you can use your miles to access more options like different kinds of paths and permits for changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of island design, I think you'll want more. I encourage you to obtain all of the necessary permits. Yes, yes, Stripe has come a long way. I think I'll have more and more of the, fut uh, of the future development of this island in the hands of its residents. I'm glad we had this talk, Zebra. Me too. On behalf of Nook Incorporated, I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Stripe plans. Wow, some major progress made then today. Yeah! <laughs> Wow! Well, now that KK has performed, it's time to focus on making island life better and better. That means living each day to the fullest and doing things I like and having tons of fun. I agree. So, yeah, let's go ahead and read our mail. I'm pretty sure it's just, oh no, we got a whole bunch of letters here. Okay, Nook Shopping to the Edge. Um, we got Gigi's poster. Got a letter from the Happy Home Academy. 63,000, rank S, that out of your home simply oozes originality. It's got a real living room feel to it. Sometimes it's best to forget about points and just design something fun. Cool, uh, Pashmina. Basically, Zebra, there's a lot this in this world you could care about, but the only thing worth caring about is friends. If you don't have folks to hang out with or write letters to, what do you really have? Nothing, friends forever, Pashmina. I agree. And then Nook Shopping, please accept our sincere thanks for our continued patronage of Nook Shopping. We'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful new seasonal offerings in stock. Please take a look when you can. Sure. Don't know what that's gonna be. But yeah, we got lots to do still today, but I'm glad that we got some of the cool stuff out of the way right away with the uh, KK Slider concert. And I guess he's gonna be available every Saturday. So we'll definitely have to play every Saturday afternoon. Um, it's Sunday as of right now. So there should be, um, Daisy May walking around, we wanna get some turnips and stuff. Uh, but for right now, KK Mania. KK supports our island with his groovy band of folk rock, so we should support him. The more KK shows you attend, the more Nook Miles you can earn. So there's one right there. We need to attend 10 more, or nine more, to get a total of 10 to get even more. So we're just gonna play every Saturday for those kind of things. And this is where I'm talking about, there's still so much more to do in the game. So much more. Um, some of these things we don't even know of yet, Oh, a lot of them. Um, and some of them we just still have to make more progress with over time. Like Cast Master, um, we need to cast 100 fish, I guess, um, in a row. Things like that. And we have our daily miles we'll be worrying about. Let's check out Island Designer. Island Designer, this app helps you develop and shape the island through construction projects that you direct. You can redeem your Nook miles at the Nook Stop for additional construction options and new path varieties. There's also a cleanup service in case you are doing construction work and find yourself stuck due to items and such around you. For more information on what is what, what this cleanup service involves or any other or any of the other app features, please check the manual within the app. So go ahead, try your hand at this app and start shaping your island to your own personal preferences. Should I start up the Island Designer app and do some construction work? Well, I wanna at least take a look. Um, start construction or check the manual. Let's just start construction. Getting permission for construction. Island Designer is ready. Uh, use the plus button to switch between different construction options. Please check the manual for info. Wow, fancy. So, um, what is this? Oh, we could put down pathways, that's so cool. So that is definitely something I'm gonna be working on. I think that'll be next episode, is mostly dedicating um, that kind of stuff. Island Designer and Nook Inc. We encourage the use of the Island Designer app to liven up the island. We're giving away miles for the first time you use a permit for a path, river, or cliff. Cool, and that's 500 extra miles for us. With 55,000 in total, very exciting. Um, but I do wanna say, we also have grass, so we can just replace that for grass now. Um, what I am curious about though, are those the only two permit types I have available at the moment? Um, Am I done building for now? Check the manual. What should I read up on? Basic user guide, path construction. So I think that this is something we'll work on next episode. Um, yeah, I'm done. So we'll be doing a bunch of path building next episode. That'll be a ton of fun. Um, just being able to, construction controls terminated. Please feel free to use our services again. I will. But yeah, we'll definitely be working on that and just really trying to etch out a path for everybody to walk around. That'll be fun. But in the meantime, I'm sure there's still plenty of daily things to do today. Like I said, I'm still looking for Daisy May. We can collect some flowers, get some fossils, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, definitely will be worth working on. I don't know why this flower is growing this way. Might want to pick this up and put it somewhere else. There we go. And 
I'll start collecting some of these. But also, I didn't get more of the things I was trying to get last episode. I bought a nice little, um, like, garden light. I wanna get more of those, for sure. I have some ideas on where I can sprinkle those around. Those to make everything look nice, uh, especially here in the town center. So yeah, we'll be working on that soon. But for right now, we got plenty of flowers to grab. So I'm definitely gonna be grabbing these. But yeah, I'm so excited about all the cool progress we've been making. There's, I just can't wait to continue increasing our town, making it nicer day by day, just sort of chipping away at it and just sort of seeing what we can accomplish. You know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but for right now, just gonna get some of this. Oh, here's Gigi. We'll be sure to talk to all the villagers today too. Hi, Gigi. Ah, uh, yes, thank you so much for returning that item to our friend Apple. Can I ask you a question? What did Apple say about it, if anything? I'll tell you. I knew she'd just brush it off, It's that's so her. And thank you for helping me out, that's so you. <laughs> I'm glad that I could help. Anyways, we're just gonna keep grabbing some more tulips and stuff here. Uh, wait, that's not what I wanted, whoops, there we go. Yeah, just, we finally got there. We got to the three stars, we got the CKK perform. It's a dream come true. I would love to see if you guys have, if, you, if you've been able to get to the point where you get three stars and KK performs, let me know all about it. We also need to hit some rocks, hopefully for some uh, money. That would be cool. Let's try this one. Not quite this one, but we might as well get what we can from it. Ooh, golden nugget, that's good. And is that it? That's it for now. Okay, so, yep, just gonna grab all this. And as soon as I can, I'm gonna try to find Daisy May. Talk to her a little bit. Cause she's usually, you know, in the southern part of the island, but I guess we did, wait, that's not what I wanted. Uh, nah, <laughs> not what I want. Um, here we go, Nook Miles Plus. So we get 200 miles for that. We need to talk to villagers. We'll be doing that in just a moment because I saw a stew over there. Sell a hot item for a few, for a fortune. Plant flower seeds, pop balloons. Gotcha. Hey, Stu, where'd you go? Wait, really, where did he go? Um, he's fast. <laughs> he was really moving. Hey, Stu, can you guess what I'm doing? I am, <laughs> I'm sitting, Ru. Yeah, it wasn't that hard to guess, but <laughs> okay. This is super comfy, Ru. All right, so he's chilling out. Don't need to worry about it too much. But hey, here's Kyle. How you doing, Kyle? And a money tree next to the money tree, interesting. Ciao, Alpha. Let's talk. What kind of day will today be? It's off to a good start, I can tell you that. Yeah, because of the concert. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> wanted to keep talking to Kyle. Looking for a rap session with old Kyle, eh? I heard you were in on a on full harvest mode, or full on harvest mode the other day, Farmer Zebra. Hey, you should take that as a compliment. If it, were for far it weren't for farmers, I couldn't make my legendary farm to table Papa's Bravas, Alpha. What is that? Papas Bravas, I don't know. Anyways, we're probably gonna wanna knock this tree down. Um, because if not, it'll get in the way of this other money tree, so we'll dig all this up, but hey, making some extra cash here, which is always great. We also got the Nook Miles for um, talking to villagers too, so we'll wanna get that doubled up. That'll be nice. So yeah, we're already chipping away at a bunch of stuff today. Really great progress. That's not what I wanted. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you one more time. Hey, what'd you up to? You didn't hear this from me, but Rolf is really sick right now. You should batten down your hatches against germs and go give him a visit. All right then, so we'll definitely do that. No. <laughs> okay, one more time. Oh, by the way, did you know Joanne's granddaughter is here right now? Who's Joanne? Who, who's Joanne? <laughs> yeah, her name's Daisy, oh, okay. Daisy May, and from what I've heard, she's a real chip off the old turnip. I mean that as a compliment, just in case you don't like turnips, ha <laughs> ha. All right then, so I guess whoever, you know, I think that yeah, there was Daisy May's grandmother in some of the older Animal Crossing games. I haven't really played ones where she's been in it, but I guess her name was Joanne. <laughs> I was so confused, I was like, did we get another villager I'm unaware of? Not the case. Anyways, we've done all that, so let's go ahead and uh, get 400 miles right there. The next one is, now it's chopping down trees. All right, I'll chop down another tree sooner or later, I'm sure of it. But that's not what I wanted. What is that noise? Oh, it's you, are you, are you snoring? Are you sleepy? Good morning. You here to start your Sunday off with some fresh turnips? I've got turnips of plenty, fresh from Sojo and, oh, stock market. Wanna buy them for a hundred, oh. Mmm. 
a little bit above my my limit here, 108, because we saw them at a high of 436, but we saw them at a low of like 40 something. And I don't wanna run that risk of it being like 40 something every day, you know? Like when it's like 90 or below, I think I can take the pass, you know? I don't think I'm gonna take it this week. You know, you can't always take it every time, you know? And hey, I might miss out on something. If so, lesson learned. Uh, but for right now, I don't think it's worth the risk. And all I can do is, you know, know what I know and apply it. So what else is going on around here though? Uh, looks like, you know, all the fruit trees are down for the count for right now, but I can also grab some weeds. They're, they're starting to stack up a little bit. So I want to make the most of that. Hmm. Is there a balloon around? I guess not, because sometimes when the music lowers is because there's a balloon around. Sometimes it just sort of lowers because of the sound of the waves. It's a little bit weird like that. But so far, there's not a ton to run around and grab. I'm still looking for the money tree though, so maybe it'll be this rock again. It's not, that's okay. But yeah, we'll just sort of chip away with some Nook Miles, get some extra stuff done that way, and just sort of see what we can accomplish. Next episode will definitely work a lot more on the landscaping. I need to sit down and think about it though, and really sort of see what I wanna do. Because honestly, we could probably spruce some things up and improve it. Like that's something I, I definitely wanna work on, is really probably, because I've sort of just been going with the flow. When there's a new building, I slap it down, because I have no idea when another new building might pop up. But I'm pretty sure we have all the buildings now. I don't know if Leaf ends up having a building, or Kix, or any of those characters, or Red. I don't think they do, because if you take a look at the map, uh, which is down here, on the right side, you can tell there's like not any more room on the selection screen for anything else. So I'm guessing that things are how they are. So I think that now we can sort of tighten things up and make some more room. Um, but we'll have to figure that out. For right now though, um, not quite gonna go in there. I wanna still look around for some fossils and stuff. I haven't found any fossils yet today. So let's try to change that a little bit. Hmm. Here's another potential money rock too. And I don't think we have found our message in the bottle just quite yet, so we'll look around for that too. But hey, let's also do this. There we go. Okay, not a money rock, just a normal rock, but that's fine. But yeah, it just, it feels weird because, you know, getting three stars was our goal for so long and we're finally there. And I think that more or less, it was just getting 10 villagers that really did the trick. So I'm glad that we could get that done, but at the same time, I'm, I feel it's it's sort of a bittersweet thing. Whenever you get that far in a game, you know, I, I've always felt that way. It's sort of like a bittersweet. It's like, I'm so glad to have gotten it done, but I'm also sad that it's in our past now, you know, and our shovel broke. So maybe now's a good time to go and sell some of the flowers we've been picking up, but. You know, that's always fine because there's still more things to experience in the game. Um, and on top of that, there's other games to experience too that we'll be eventually getting around to. Uh, so, you know, no matter what, it's still good that we're making progress. Yeah, we haven't seen what the shop actually has to sell today. It has that fan again. But also we have a sewing machine and a pillow, presumably made with the sewing machine. Uh, sewing machine is going to be 2100 bells. Interesting, but I don't think it's something I need. I'll get a fancy little pillow. Cushion. <laughs> 300 bells, I'll pass for now. Well, good to know. Weird items for sale today. A kimono stand. So I guess this, oh yeah, it is a kimono. It's way bigger than you'd think. Uh, 3,200 bells, I'll pass, but fascinating nonetheless. Uh, some like streamers. Uh, party garland. <laughs> 650 bells, I'm not hosting a party, so I don't need that. What about this though? A rat in bed, very fancy. Uh, don't think I need it. So not really anything striking for the selection in the shop today, but I do need to get a new shovel, so let's not waste any opportunities there. Uh, and we'll just get the outdoorsy shovel real quick. I'll buy that. And not really too much here, okay. So yeah, with all that figured out, we're just gonna head down here now. And I guess we'll just keep looking for more fossil spots. So we were just right over this way. We still gotta keep working on it, but yeah, I'm glad that uh, we're back to it. I've only found one fossil so far, so I gotta find three more. I didn't actually sell anything to them, by the way. I forgot to do that. We'll be back though. I mean, for right now, I just wanna get these three fossils. I don't think I'm gonna worry about anything else here. Unless I find something really peculiar. Because there's definitely no more fruit. But yeah, no fossil spots around here, so we're good to climb up this way. 
But yeah, as soon as we, we set up an incline last episode, and I could probably get rid of all the junkyard stuff up here. <laughs> I'll do that soon. Uh, definitely now that we got the three stars. I don't think we could go back down to two, and even if we could, um, I'm not too worried about it now that we get the KK slider. <laughs> Is that possible? Is it possible to tell all of your villagers to move away and just turn your town into a dump and then KK Slider shows up and goes, I don't like this place anymore. <laughs> that would be awful, but it would also be sort of funny. <laughs> okay, not too much over that way in terms of fossil spots. But yeah, once we make the incline up here, aha, uh, the villagers will be able to fully access all parts of the mm -hmm. island, which will be really cool, which will also sort of inspire me to continue chipping away at everything. Um, but for right now, Let's bring it down here. But also, it's interesting to know that KK Slider just performs in the town center, so you can't like make a concert area for him or anything. So I know I was talking about that idea before. Maybe not something worth focusing on too much then. Because obviously, what's the point of making a concert area if he's not even gonna be there? So let's go ahead and dig this up a little bit. Ooh, here we go. Come on, come on. Got it. All right then, so that's gonna bring us up to almost 90,000 bells. We might be able to reach it. A couple more. Yeah, 90,130. Let's also say hi to Sally, because haven't done that yet today. We actually haven't seen her house while it's unpacked, and it should be unpacked today. So let's find out. Yeah, wow, I like it. I like sort of the division here. You have like the nice sort of like this is sort of like her bedroom area, and this is like her living area. She only has one room, but she really made the most of it. Very smart. Welcome. Please make yourself at home here, Nutmeg. Uh, let's chat. I've been having trouble deciding what book I should read uh, from the growing pile that I keep adding to. I know. I'm going to list some titles. You pick the one that I'll read next. She's such an avid reader, I like it. Office Philosopher, Best of Nintendique, or The Animalese Brain. Ooh, I like the sound of that one. You think I should broaden my mind? I do like a challenge, and learning new things is my passion. It makes more than just a few big words uh, in a title to scare me away from picking up a book. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot from this one. Thanks so much for the recommendation, Nutmeg. I really appreciate <laughs> that you, you let me choose. Yeah, she's really cool, though. I, I like the fact that she's an avid reader. Did you need me? Um, I want to chat. I like the easygoing look of my snowy sweater. Me too. <laughs> the more simplified the clothing, the more you can appreciate the material it's made of, Nutmeg. I guess the name, the same could be said about recipes and ingredients. Hmm. All right then. I really like her little oven too. She's got a nice house. So I'm glad that we got to go and see and experience that. Um, getting a better read on her personality through all that too, which is awesome. So we're still looking for two more fossils here and they're not really up here either. So unless I miss them around here, it looks like we're going to have to uh, go near Oh, wait, there's one down there. So we know of one of them, and here's the other. Okay, so we got it all cleared out now. But also, we gotta go and get um, Roth his medicine. He's sick still, remember? So we gotta go and do that. So, yep, <laughs> still plenty of uh, responsibilities to tend to here. Let's go ahead and figure all that out then. So I think the first thing I'll do is maybe I'll run home, because actually I do have a couple of uh, music things we gotta do. We gotta register that music. Then we have to assess the fossils sell some stuff as well. Lots of stuff to do for sure. But for right now, once it's getting here, looks like uh, the clock is struck. It's a new time now. Um, it is 10 a.m. So yeah, we have To The Edge. That's a KK Slider song. And then we have Gigi's poster. I'll have to set that up in this room over here. I should probably set up some kind of music in this room as well um, at some point or another. Just something in the corner. Yeah, for right now, I should just be able to walk up here, and perfect. So we'll have to get Sally's poster at some point, but everything is looking really good there. I like it. In the meantime, though, uh, we are going to run on over this way, register those two songs. Uh, we'll see if there's a new song to register. I'll have to find the full list of KK Slider songs soon and see if we have everything, like how close are we? <laughs> This one's so interesting. But here we got Welcome Horizons and To The Edge. So let's listen to To The Edge. Okay, very chill. <laughs> also we have Welcome Horizons, which is like a KK Slider version of the theme song. 
I like it. Um, but we're gonna keep it to, to the edge for now, because that's new for us. And I'll definitely, you know, we'll hear more of that once we enter the room next time. Uh, that's awesome. So very quickly, I'll, I'll organize the rest of our inventory. Um, I don't think I can sell these. I can't really do much with them. Uh, but if there is anything I can put in my inventory, like the rocks and stuff, and the, and the nuggets and the wood, definitely wanna get that out of the way for right now. And then, uh, we will, like I said, assess some fossils, head out with all that, Hopefully make enough cash that I can at least buy some medicine. Yeah, we definitely do. We have like 80,000 bells as it is. I need to put some of that in the ABD. Keep forgetting to do that. D forgot to do it last episode. Silly me. So yeah, for right now, we're just gonna go down this way and see how we wanna figure things out. I mean, hopefully some of these fossils are new. We've had sort of a bad luck streak with that with not getting any new fossils recently. I mean, it makes us more money, but it's not always about the money. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind, Blathers, assessing these fossils for me. There we go. More than one, yep. Uh, oh, so we did, awesome. Okay, so what are these gonna be? Okay, so let's make a donation. It's a Diplo skull. Oh, I wonder if this completes the uh, Diplosaurus. That's what it's called, right? Ooh, who could it be? It is a Diplo skull. Never thought I'd lay. Yep, 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 yep. He's all, he always says this stuff. Yes, I would like to hear more. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Good old Diplodocus. That's what it's called. Uh, what would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. The, those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its center of gravity w was such as sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? What's more, paired w with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life having no adult size. Would that, would that we were all so gifted? And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, oh god, I accept your generous donation. Um, I hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its full assembled form. So we have not gotten all of it yet, uh, but we're working on it. Definitely want to swing by the um, a place soon. But uh, for right now, that's pretty good. Looks like we got some Nook Miles for that too. I guess getting some fossils assessed was probably one of the daily ones. We'll take a look. Have I looked at the daily Nook Miles today? I can't remember. Yeah, probably. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, we did. And we'll chop down a tree somewhere. Uh, let's just chop down this one. Don't think it's anything special, so we should just be fine with giving it the good old one, two, three. Awesome. I don't know if I've heard this hourly music. I usually don't play this hour. I like it. Uh, so there we go, 200 more miles. We're over 56,000 now. Um, catch fish, we'll work on that sooner or later. But for right now, I think we're good to go into the shop. That's not, okay, we need to go into the shop, not knock it down. So I need to sell what I currently have, which is mostly just flowers, it won't be much. I need to buy medicine for Rolf. Talk to Biff, how you doing? How's it going, Zebra? You're here to buff up your home? Let's chat. If you see something you like to better, you better pounce on it, my wallet's feeling pretty mighty. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind, buddy. Is it weight training time? It might be for a while, it's like you said. Uh, just walking around here is a pretty decent workout. You don't even need to buy anything, Squirt. You're just browsing? Alrighty then, so, I wanna sell. Yep, I know, can't sell turnips today. But, you can at the least buy all these flowers. That should be good. Um, and, well actually all these too. So we also have the ophthalmo, oph, ophthalmo skull Brachio tail and left megalo side. Yep, yep, yep. 15,000 bells. Decent little haul considering we don't even have any fruit trees today. Uh, yeah, okay, so some of it's a little excess, but I do wanna see also what the hot item is for today. Uh, what's hot today? Natural garden chair and a shell stool. I don't have either of those, uh, so I'm gonna take a pass on those for now. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with all of that figured out, we are going to buy the medicine real quick. <laughs> Biff is sort of getting in the way. And the medicine is right down this way. Yep, just gonna buy one. And we're just gonna keep moving. 
Thank you for your help, boys. I appreciate it. So let's go and save Rolf. He's sick in his house. He doesn't deserve that. So definitely help him out a little bit. Also, we might wanna, you know, while we're on the way there, <laughs> try to make the most of my time here. Let's go ahead and figure out some of the town center stuff since we haven't been in here today. I can only imagine that Tom Nook is so happy because he was so excited about KK Slider going by and he finally got that. There's another cardboard box. I wonder if that was one of his like bucket list things to do is just be at a KK Slider concert. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. Oh, can I help you, hmm? Um, what should I do? I wanna see what he says now. Yes, yes, that is the question. I can't think of any more advice to give you, Zebra. You've accomplished so much. I am sure that you can find your own ways of having fun and living your best life. So that's where I'm sort of like, it's sort of kind of the end of the game because any active quest that Tom Milk could give us is sort of done. Um, but there's still more to do in the town. Oh, Zebra, good morning. Um, so let's talk island evaluations. I wanna see if it's any higher now that KK has been here. No, it is not. Um, anything new in terms of I look forward to my Sunday visits. When Gram Gram's knees get better, it'd be swell to bring her with me. Aw, poor knees of Gram Gram. That's a weird way of wording it, but oh, she feels better soon. Um, but I'm glad that that was Daisy May. I'm glad that she's enjoying it. Uh, so I think you could create some pretty scenery and memorable vistas if you use some fencing here and there. Uh, give it a try and see how it looks. I definitely will. Uh, and there you have it. Just let me know the next time you'd like to hear the latest Alan feedback. So I did want to see one last thing. How expensive is it to move things? Because that is definitely something I'll have to start putting away cash for. Um, infrastructure. I want layout changes. Let's ch yes, yes, let's chat about the layout of the island. As resident representative, planning the location of different structures falls to you, hmm? As such, I'll bet. You've probably thought, oh, you building would be better elsewhere, or that building would be better elsewhere. Happens to the best of us. So I'm here for you. We can talk about layout changes, then take full advantage of our island's terrain. Moving buildings is of course an ele elective service, so there are construction costs for you to cover. But don't let a few bells stop you from shaping our island to, into its most ideal form, hmm? Now then, if there's a building in like have in mind, we can discuss moving it now, how about it, hmm? Let's talk relocation. So like say I wanted to move the museum. Ah, the museum, moving it will run you 50,000 bells, so you want to suggest moving? Uh, let me think on it. <laughs> Understood. Well, you know where to find me if you ever want to talk about layout changes. Is there anything else I can help you with? For right now, no. I'm going to assume that they're probably all around that price. I'm sure the bigger the building, the more the cost, but that is expensive. Um, that is something we might not want to do for a while. We just got to work with what we have. Um, so there's 100 extra bonus miles there. Uh, but I want to, yeah, just sort of check everything out for today. Oh, waterscaping permit and cliff construction permit. It's a good thing I've been saving my my uh, miles then. We'll be dealing with all this stuff next episode. All sorts of stuff too. And also apparently there's going to be um, new holiday stuff. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, very, very excited about everything. Do I have the Latisse fence? Yep, okay. I definitely have all the fences, but you know, sometimes I just wanna make extra sure. So I, I will also check out the Nook shopping to see what our new holiday item. Oh, that's perfect, the elephant slide. Buy that, thank you. Um, we don't need that, I already have one. Um, KK Fair, I don't think I have this one. I might though, uh, we'll find out. And then, oh wow, Summer Solstice Crown. Europe, yeah, like that's a European holiday, I guess. And also winter solstice sweater. Huh. All right, well, I'll buy this stuff. And I guess we'll wear that at some point. I need to look into those holidays. I don't really know too much about them. If you know anything about summer or winter solstice, feel free to let me know. Um, but if not, I'll try to look it up. Uh, and we'll sign off for now. So there's all that out of the way. Gonna go to the Able Sisters to see what they have, and then we'll go and save Rolf. Hopefully he's doing okay. <laughs> okay, so yep, right over this way. Oh, hi, Lionel. Ciao, precisely. I wanna chat. Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, Stripe. Oh, well, thank you. All right, you got my attention, what's up? 
Uh, so, how'd you do in the big evaluation? You know, the Happy Home Academy inspection? I'm pretty happy with mine. I don't want to say the best in show, but I know we're all thinking it. So he doesn't have anything too new to say today. So let's go to the Able Sisters now. I like the little wizard robe in the window. That changes every day too. I don't know if that'll actually be in the shop or not though. Uh, but we're gonna find out. No. Oh, actually, yeah, there it is. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters. Yep, yep, yep. So no new display case things, but that's okay. There's still new stuff. So what do we got going on this time? We have comedian's outfit, <laughs> very sparkly. Uh, the f Fisher Remd, Fisher Hemd, interesting. Um, lacy tank, pocket tee. Oh, nice and simple. Oh, that's tempting actually. All sorts of different colors too. I feel like a basic tee is like a must-have, you know. Um, I might go ahead and purchase a white one. Wait, no, I wasn't done. Okay, <laughs> well, I got this nice basic tee now, but um, I do want to keep going. I wasn't quite done. I wanna buy maybe, I'll buy a black one and then we'll buy a not, or a colored one. That's, I'm so silly. <laughs> um, Try again. Yes. Okay, sorry, just the controls can be a little bit weird. Um, So purchase this tee. Ready to make my purchase, yes. Um, no thank you. So why can I only buy one thing at a time? That's a little tedious, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so like I can like build a whole outfit, so maybe I should do that. Uh, choose a different color shirt. Which color do I like at all? I like this lighter red. Like the other colors are great, but I think the red um, mixes best. There's also um, a young royal skirt, um, or young royal shirt, floral skirt, Long plaid skirt, pleather shorts, uh, hibiscus moo moo. Some of the stuff we've already seen. Tweed dress, I think, is new. Here's the wizard's robe, fancy. Uh, and there's the purple version. Hibiscus hairpin, sailor's hat, uh, straw boater, cat cap. <laughs> That's silly. Um, butterfly shades, heart shades, no show socks. Ooh, these are fancy. Tiny shades. Um, Semi opaque socks, boots. I think this is the first time seeing boots. Lots of different house slippers and flip-flops and water shoes again. Okay, so I do not need any of this. I just want the t-shirt. Uh, yeah, there wasn't really too much more beyond that that I, I saw here and I was like, wow, I must have this. So there we go. Um, so where was that shirt at? Right here. I do like it. Yep, move forward with our purchase. Um, I won't wear it for right now, we'll just keep with the white t-shirt. Nice and basic, but I think it looks good. And I think we're good to skedaddle out of here too. So we still have over 90,000 bells, some of that, most of that we'll probably put in the ABD. But uh, for right now, I just wanna go and save her off. And we haven't talked to Celia in a little while, so I wanna do that too. She sent me a nice letter yesterday. So uh, let's go down here. Okay, so she's not home, so hopefully she's out and about somewhere we can catch up with. Did we ever get the money rock? I think we did, but I can't remember now. No, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, I'll get this one, though. No! <laughs> okay, maybe that's a sign. I don't know. Okay, just a normal rock, but hey, more materials are more materials. I appreciate it either way. Yeah, it's been a fun day so far. Not really too complicated of things going on. Like I said, I didn't really get any of the turnips from Daisy May just because I didn't like the price. I don't want to risk it. I mean, I know it's not all that much more expensive than what we bought them at last time, but I just have a feeling that this isn't the time I should bite. You know what I mean? Um, so we're just gonna leave it be. But I have your medicine, Rolf. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hopefully he doesn't mind. <laughs> he might, but hopefully he doesn't. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's not looking so good. <laughs> is this the end for poor old Rolf? Who, who is that? Who's here? Can't even make out your face. Everything's getting blurry. Take some medicine, quick. I'm real grateful for this kiddo. Thank you. I don't know if he's being dramatic or what, but here we go. I got you medicine either way. Eh, much better. Whoa, I feel like I'm getting better already. I'm all better thanks to you, so I'm hoping you'll accept the small gift. It's a bowling shirt. <laughs> nice. They say it's better to rely on the strangers nearby than your faraway family, I suppose. Now that I'm calling you a stranger, not that I'm calling you a stranger, kiddo. Thanks again. No problem. 
That medicine was a big help, kiddo. Now I'm the Rolf you know and love again. <laughs> I like your your music too. Anyways, that was fun. Uh, really glad that we could have helped him out. And let's check out our new shirt that he gave us here, the bowling shirt. <laughs> Fancy. Uh, and then what, what do we got here? This is the cardboard box. Let's put it right in front of his house. Not quite. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. Honestly, that's the most of what I really wanted to do in today's episode. It has been really interesting experiencing everything. But next episode will be a jam-packed one. We're going to be checking out all the new construction stuff. That will definitely be fun, a bit different, and hopefully we can really get to doing some nice, good landscaping. But in the meantime, I definitely need to take some time to think about it and know exactly what I want to do. Uh, but I'll put some stuff away in my uh, storage. We'll put some money in the ABD to see how far along we are. I think decently enough, you know? So... That'll be good. Uh, but for right now, put in the storage, cardboard box, bowling shirt, rocks and some wood. Nothing too crazy, but I'm, once again, I'm just glad to make some progress with it. Why do we have so many? I didn't realize we had so many. <laughs> okay, whoops. Yeah, one last time, go back to the town center. And hopefully as we work on our town, you know, the ranking will get higher and higher. We get from three stars to four and then from four stars to five. I don't know what we'll have to make our town look like to do all that, but we'll get there for sure. But it's just been so much fun progressing with the game. So first off, let's go over this way. And we've done everything else. We just need to go to the ABD and deposit. So we're at 274,000, I'm going to put in 88,000, actually, yeah, 88,310. And there we go. We're at 363, so we're almost halfway there. I think we need 375 to be halfway there. Okay, it's a, it's a big loan to pay off, but definitely worth doing. But for right now, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.